what is going on guys here my name is Exposer Man, and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to download any mod you want really fast now you should be able to download anything from Pixelmon to Raze Minimap to anything you want so uh, if you want to download something in under five minutes and you don't really know how to do the whole Minecraft modding uh, here's your solution so what we're going to do is we're going to download a few things first thing you want to download is Minecraft Magic Launcher. I will link this in the description. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is scroll down to here, go to the download section, and choose whatever platform you're on, whether you're from Windows, Mac, or Linux. So uh, you can either go from their, their direct links or their mirrors. So go ahead, download that. Just click on that. You should be brought to an ad fly ad, and uh, just wait for it and download it. Um, next what we're going to do is you're going to be able to go into your downloads folder whatever it is uh, find that magic launcher that you downloaded and put it on your desktop I have mine right here it should look like a minecraft uh, logo the whole dirt block so just keep that right there and we're going to go ahead and download a few mods just to show you how this works you're going to need to download Minecraft Forge. So go ahead and go into my description, click the link for Minecraft Forge. Everything will be posted in the description and go over to here. Now you can download so many options. There's a lot of cool things about Minecraft Forge. It allows you to download other mods. So whatever version you have, whether it be 1.5.2, 1.6.2, 1.7. Uh, I don't know. That's just like a later version from the current time I'm at. Uh, go over, go to the downloads part, go to the recommended one, and go and find your version, and click on the universal link. The universal link should bring you to an AdFly ad, and just wait for it to count down. Go ahead and download that, and uh, put it in your download section. Next, go over and download whatever mod you want. I'm just going to be using Ray's Minimap as an example. Uh, go over to the download section. Uh, this will be in link if you want to use Ray's Minimap. And go and find your version. Click on that. Uh, and you should be brought to an AdFly ad. And just go ahead and download that. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of these. Minimize this whole launcher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, what you need to do next. I put all my mods in one little fo folder right here. You can just go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop and drag all the mods you just recently downloaded into this fo file. Uh, to find your mods that you just downloaded, they should be in your downloads uh, section right here. Um, I, I, it's pretty ex it's pretty simple to do that. Next, you're going to want to open up your magic launcher. And it should bring you to this cool little launcher. It's a much better than Minecraft's latest launcher. And it gives you Minecraft news, Minecraft Reddit posts, posts from the mod developers, uh, uh, recommendations for mods. It's really cool. Uh, if you want to use this as your current YouTube, uh, not YouTube, your current Minecraft launcher, I definitely recommend it. I personally use it. Uh, it it's probably one of my favorite things I've ever found. So what you're going to need to do now to add mods to your Minecraft uh, magic launcher is you're going to want to get this configuration go right to the right of it and it says setup just click on that and you should be brought to a screen right here now you can either make a new folder if you already have a setup what this allows you to do this minecraft launcher is you can make setups of certain amounts of mods so if you want to make a a mod full of pixelmon stuff you can make a folder for that. If you want to make a mod full of build craft things, you can make a file for that. We're just going to make uh, one for YouTube. Um, I can just show you. All you have to do is press new and let's just say YouTuber. So, you can, and then just press that little dash right there and press OK. And you should be left with a fresh Minecraft in which you don't have to like delete anything or it's just really good. So. Uh, next, what you want to do, if your Minecraft jar is not updated to the one that uh, it's supposed to be, say this says 1.5.2 and I'm on 1.6.2, all you need to do is go to environment. Right now mine says classic. Click that and you can go to any version you want. I'm going to choose 1.6.2 because that is my, the version I need to use. That's what I downloaded my mods for. 
Next, to add your mods actually, you just go to add, go to whatever file you have, find the mods. The first thing you're going to want to da uh, add is your Minecraft Forge, your Forge Launcher. I need to go find mine, so go to mods, go to this forgeuniversal.jar, open that. If it says OK, then it's uh, it worked well. Go to raise minimap, it should be a zip file press that and you should be good to go now that you got all your mods downloaded uh, let's just say you downloaded everything you need to download um, just go over here press OK and you should be good to go now uh, what we're gonna do first before you press OK is go back to that file and press test this will test to see if these mods are compatible and they work with each other so far it's looking good we're gonna go see this we're gonna go into our our selected world and see if we have the mod and there we go as you can see we have the mod we have the mo raise mini map installed I'll go ahead and show you that right here it is pretty awesome uh, right there to the top right uh, you can add any mod you want so uh, hope this helped guys um, I know a lot of people have questions about how to add mods and how mods work I hope this simplified this for you so thanks for watching guys and if you haven't subscribed or liked this video please go and do so this helps me grow and it helps my videos get out there so you guys can see so more people can see really uh, how to actually do these basic tutorials thanks for watching guys and uh, later